The 633 is a very important tool with its six inputs and up to 10 tracks of recording on two media. In this video, we're going to explore the input and record features of the 633 Compact Production Field Mixer. On the input panel of the 633, we have three full-sized XLR inputs. These inputs 1 through 3 are mic line switchable and contain 48 volts or 12 volts phantom power. Input 1 can accept an AES-42 or AES-3 digital input. Inputs 1 through 3 contain their own dedicated front panel trim knob, fader knob, consistently variable pan, and PFL switch. Line level inputs 4 through 6 use TA3 connectors. Each of these inputs, 4 through 6, contain retractable faders on the front panel. By flipping the PFL switch to the right, we can access the input settings menu of channels 1 through 3. In this menu, at the very top, we see the channel number and the channel name. Just below is a DBU meter. Just below the DBU meter, we have a nominal readout of the fader level for that input. By pressing down the headphone controller, we can select the input type. By pressing down the select knob, we can activate or deactivate the high pass filter for that input. Each input has a sweepable high pass filter from 80 Hz to 240 Hz. Using the mic tone switch, we can quickly route and unroute that input to aux 1 and aux 2 tracks, either pre or post fade. The aux 1 and aux 2 channels are recordable channels, and they each have a dedicated balanced TA3 output. These outputs are mic line switchable. By flipping the PFL switch to the right, we can access line level inputs 4 through 6 to that corresponding channel. Rotate the select knob to adjust the trim setting to the corresponding input. Inputs 4 through 6 also have a nominal fader readout and DBU meters. Toggle the return switch left or right to route or unroute that input to the left and right mix tracks. And just like inputs 1 through 3, the mic tone toggle will route or unroute that channel to aux 1 and aux 2. Additionally, there are more routing options in the menu. By pressing the menu button, inputs, input to ISO routing, we can assign that input's ISO track to be either pre or post fade. Also in the inputs menu, we have channel linking options, selection between 48 volt and 12 volt phantom power, and selectable input delays, up to 30 milliseconds on each channel. On the output panel of the 633, we have two balanced mic line and AES switchable XLR outputs, two TA3 outputs for aux 1 and aux 2, and a return input. Back on the input side of the 633, we have a dedicated 3.5 millimeter unbalanced connection for aux 3 and aux 4. All routing to aux 3 and aux 4 is done through the output submenu in the menu of the 633. By navigating to outputs, aux 3, aux 4 routing, we can assign any track pre or post fade to aux 3 and aux 4, as well as the headphones monitoring path. Also in the Outputs menu, we can link outputs, set an outputs type, and assign output delays for each individual output. Up to four channels of digital audio can be output over the balanced XLR connectors. All AES routing is done in the Outputs menu as well. By selecting AES Output Routing, we can route any track to any of the four AES outputs. The 633 supports up to 10 tracks of recording on a removable SD card and compact flash card. By pressing the menu button and accessing the recorder submenu, we can access all of the recording options. Simultaneous recording of polywave, monowave, and MP3 files are all supported. We can select our MP3 bitrate and high sample rates up to 192 kilohertz. Up to a six second pre-roll time is selectable. For more in-depth overviews of the Sound Devices 633 Compact Field Mixer, visit the 633 product page at sounddevices.com.